everybody, Shava here, back from the video and today, I'll be showing you how to make constraints in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find the area where you can make the constraints. So you want to go to model at the top. Then you want to go to the create sign with these two cubes in a line. Now, if you press this arrow right here, it will show you all of these options. You can see rope constraints, there's springs, there's even no collisions and welds, some hinges. So, the first thing you're going to want to do before we start making the constraints is get a part to use it on. So, I have my own setup right here. I'm going to create a part by going here, clicking block, and then just dragging it around wherever I want it to be. Now, I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to click this arrow. And then, I'm going to press whatever constraint I want to use. So I'm going to use the most simple one, which is the hinge. So I'm going to click it. It should turn your mouse into this. And then, you have to move your camera and then place this where you want it to be. So I'm going to place it right here. It should make a dot. And then there should be a line going to wherever your mouse goes. So now, you want to place this wherever you want it to be at. So I'm just going to place it right here. And you should see a hinge right here. It's kind of yellow, a yellow circle. And there's also some properties right here to change the hands and stuff, change some of the settings. But it should be working now. So if you go to home and then you click play, it should be working. So if you go over here, then you go up here, you jump on this. It rotates, because it's using a hinge. Now I'm going to show you how to make a rope constraint. So I'm going to make another part over here. I'm going to move it, I'm going to make it mid-air by using these arrows, by pressing this move button. I'm going to drag it. Now I'm going to make a rope constraint. So, if you do it like this, you go to the arrow, and then the rope constraint. Then you click whatever part you want to connect it to. That dot in the line. And now you want to place this wherever you want, like the hinge. But it doesn't have to be close to the object this time because it's just a rope. So now you can see the rope right there. And it should be just like a little line. Even if you deselect it, you can see it. Now, if you click play, you should be able to see it. Like that. It so acts like a rope. You can like fling it around and stuff, but it won't go away from there. And yeah. There's, there's settings on some of these, like the hinge. You need explore open. You go to the part, which should be in workspace. If you don't see them, you want to press these arrows until you find them. The part should have the hinge constraint open and all that, since you placed it down using this way. So we're just gonna click that. We're gonna go to properties, if you have it open. Then you're gonna want to scroll down and then go to the settings area. So it should say hinge right here if you're using a hinge, hinge constraint. And then you can change some of the settings right here. So if you want it to spin automatically, you can click this, and double click it, and then you can click motor, and then you can change some of these motor settings right here. So I'm gonna change this to 10,000, because that's the most simple way to move to spin an object and then I'm gonna put the speed I want 
So I'm going to I'm just going to put 4 and then I'm going to test the game. So now I'm going to spawn in and go to the part and it should be spinning like that. It spins and it still uses physics. And you can even you can even do this with springs and make it work like an actual spring. So I'm just gonna do what I did earlier. I'm gonna scale it a bit this time and I'm gonna change my settings up here. I'm gonna do spring right here and there. And then you can change some of the settings right here. I'm gonna go to the limits. And then I'm going to set the minimum length to like three. Then there's a, there's a way to test it without spawning in your character by clicking this arrow and then pressing run. And then it should have the correct settings. If I try to move this right here, it will push out the object like a spring would. And we'll still stop it from going too far away, like that. Even if you go upwards, it still works, like that. And that's how you make constraints in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace.